The aim is to save Venice from rising sea levels and winter storms. Dramatic floods like these can bring normal life to a standstill and cause immense permanent damage, weakening architecture that stood for centuries, drawing millions of visitors every year. The mobile flood barriers, given their first public test today, weigh more than 40 tonnes each. Eventually, there should be 78 of these floodgates able to block the three inlets to the precious Venice Lagoon. The mayor of Venice told journalists he wanted to protect Venice as a living city, not a theme park. It's certainly a very important and emotional moment. It will change the vision we have of the city and its lagoon, because let's not forget, it's a whole. The city and the lagoon are one. As the project video warned of the dangers of continuing erosion, it was explained the scheme is intended to protect against the few exceptional tides that threaten the city every year. 4,000 people have worked directly or indirectly on it. Mosa has also been a great resource for the Venice region. But although the project is four-fifths complete, there's still the risk of failure with a warning that $800 million more is still needed. And there's no guarantee of that, with Italy currently buffeted by economic crisis. Philippa Thomas, BBC News.